Hey guys, how's it going? Dave Beat Eric, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Nintendo Entertainment System Compendium by Jeffrey Wittenhagen. Special thanks to Jeffrey Wittenhagen for uh, giving me this copy. I've known him for quite some time. He's written a handful of different books and stuff. Uh, we hung out recently at a video game store opening and he was like, you know what? You want to copy this? I was like, sure, I'll put it on the channel. I'll show everybody what it's about, give my take on it and... You know, if you could sell a book or two, then uh, I'm glad to have helped. So, first thing I've noticed about this book is that it has a real mom and pop feel to it. And that's absolutely what I like the most about it. I mean, just taking a look at the cover, it feels and looks like something that is directly out of the 80s. It doesn't have any kind of like over-the-top vector graphics or anything. It legitimately looks like something Nintendo or somebody that was an authorized, unauthorized writer of books would have made. I mean, even the artwork looks true to form, looks like classic Nintendo Power art style right there. And all of the artwork in this book is actually really well done and true to what the original NES style was. Now looking at the back, you can see I talked about it a little bit more. It has stories written by community authors. You know, a lot of books are doing this whole thing where they have YouTubers and, you know, personalities and people in the industry write their own takes, their own articles and stuff. So this book is full of them as well. And it has, again, a good presentation if you're taking a look inside the cover. I mean, look at that. Right away when you open it, two of the greatest series on the NES, Castlevania and The Legend of Zelda, are represented really well and then you even have mario right there and then you have some good stuff so going into the thing you see you know you have images and stuff that you've seen on the internet like like the zach morris looking kid who was in that gnarly room and overall you know it's just a lot of information here you can look at all the artwork and it's broken down into certain little areas the first part is like nes stories and articles where you can read people telling their stories about certain video games certain experiences they had uh, their first time playing the nes the, their collections back in the day their memories everything about it and some of these stories are actually really informative shows a little bit of different side of some of the community writers that i've never seen before and i've actually discovered some new people that i've never heard of like rob strange man and uh Mary Buchanan and a few others on here. So I basically helped open my horizons to people that I might not have ever heard of. And you can see looking at all the book and stuff, you know, there's pretty in-depth articles and stories that are shared in here with some nice artwork. I mean, look at like, like, like Teen C Surf Design style artwork and everything in here. The next session is listed as favorite Nintendo Entertainment System games. So these are gonna be like the cream of the crop. You got more excellent artwork, you know, talking about like Mario Brothers, you know, the stuff that is actually popular, the Double Dragons, the Super Dodgeballs, Crystallis, just looking at the artwork that is showing up in here, good God, I, <laughs> honestly, when I was looking at it and I was telling him, I was like, dude, the artwork alone is more than like my value for the book, like this is good stuff that's written in here. Now, another neat section they have in here is like a hacks in aftermarket section. You don't see too many of these NES books talk about actual like unofficial hacks and homebrews and things like that, development kits. That's actually really inform informative. You can see like Earthbound, that didn't come out in the United States. To see an article about it is actually really nice. Space Harrier, Magic Castle, stuff like that, you know, lots of... Lots of games that you might not have known about because, you know, the Wild West of the NES is the hacks and unofficial games uh, that have never come out. I mean, it even talks about A Link to the Past on the NES. So that's something to uh, definitely look into right there. Then there's also a homebrew section that's actually really informative. You can see they talk about Battle Kid, which is a, a very underrated homebrew game that a lot of people don't talk about. And just looking at all the content that's in here, you can see that the people that wrote a lot of these articles had a lot of information and stuff. And that's actually, um, you know, it's not necessarily a book of reviews. You can find reviews of NES games and stuff like that. This is a compendium which actually just really just mostly talks about experiences and stuff. Like Super Russian Roulette. This came out like, what, two years ago? 
Look how much of a story we got talking about that game. It's where you have a zapper and you take turns shooting it and whoever gets shot is the, the loser, basically. But, you know, a, a book like this, there's even a section where some of the creators of the homebrews have bios written out. So you get to find out more of who is, like, what person. So, for example, this person right here, Adam Welch, a.k.a. Dragoon made Get Him Gary and a couple other games for like Genesis and stuff and you have bios so a lot of these homebrew people that make games to this day for the NES because they have a love for the retro and the nostalgic value that the NES comes they don't get credit too often so it's nice to see that they are getting a little bit of credit and there's actually so much more in here uh, it talks about accomplishments challenges everybody gives their little personal stories you can see right here it's, it's overall just a really neat celebration of an NES community, which is why I wanted to check this book out and give you guys some props on it. I'm going to link to Hagen's Alley books down below in the description if you want to see what else they have available. I'm not getting any kind of kickback, but I do appreciate the free book that I was given. Jeffrey, uh, thanks a lot for the book. It's nice. I read it in the bathroom. I think you guys would enjoy it too. So it is a pretty good NES book. Highly recommend it. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you are brand new, throw a subscription. Don't forget to click like. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.